Hold the buckets, we're about to have a real size potty. So we had our well drilled yesterday. If you're new here, I'm Megan and this is Bo and our daughter Beckett. <laughs> For 10 months now, we've been living on our land in northeastern Washington while building a shop house. We've had our struggles and we didn't pass inspection. And we've had our successes along the way. But each day we are closer to moving in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join us on this wild ride. So we didn't do a ton of filming over the weekend, but we got a lot accomplished. A lot of little projects. Our electrical reinspection is today. We have a plumbing inspection and a framing inspection tomorrow. Um, and our drywall gets delivered on Thursday. The HVAC people are here right now um, just for air conditioning and duct work. We obviously have the in-floor heat, so they're not doing any sort of heating system. Um, but they are here currently working, so just trying to stay out of the way. We have some friends coming this weekend, so I'm trying to get clean and organized. Much filming wasn't done today because we had the HVAC people out today installing our air conditioning system um, and like the dryer vent and those type of things. And they were just busy at work and I didn't want to be in their way. But you can see we've got some stuff up in the ceiling. It looks really funny from that angle. Um, and they've got all sorts of stuff here. Um, I guess they were short on some supplies, so they will be back tomorrow to get everything finished. Um, our, our electrical inspector came out again today uh, and told us that we still need to wire all of our outlets together. They need to be grounded. Um, so Bo and I are going to work on getting that finished. Because other than that, our electrical is done. <laughs> and he's going to come back later in the week to do our final inspection. So. Not final. Well, not our final inspection, our rough end inspection. Rough end inspection. So Bo's going to keep working on this, and I'm going to make dinner. He asked us to tie all the grounds together prior to drywall, which I've never heard of. I talked to him about the master elector, electrician that works for us. He's never heard of that. So, I mean, this can absolutely be done after drywall is installed, so I'm not sure why he wants us to do it, but... You gotta do what the inspector says. And when he was here last time, he did ask us to do that, or to totally do the switches, which we did. So we went through, just like he asked, did all of the um, switch boxes. So we didn't realize that we were also needing to do, or he wasn't clear. So, you know, just one more thing on our plate. But we're getting it done. We've tested our plumbing system. Everything seems to be in order. That inspector comes out tomorrow. We also have a framing inspector coming out tomorrow. Same guy. Oh, same person. Never mind. So he's going to inspect the plumbing and the framing. So we're we're getting there. Big steps. Um, well, I think that's about it for now. <laughs> I'm going to go make dinner because I'm starving. So our toilet flange um, won't fit which we were kind of prepared for because of the concrete. Wow, my hair is fantastic. But, um, so see, it's pretty flush and we did make a good gap around it, around here. Sorry, this is in here because as you guys know, our septic is active, so I'm getting a good poop smell coming up right now. Um, but there's a pretty good circle. However, the inside of this is a little lip. So, I'm going to cut down the PVC and hopefully be able to stick it in there. We'll see. Wish me luck. Bo has a gag reflex. <laughs> Let's just say he doesn't have hair. It's <laughs> extremely sensitive, so I get stuck doing these jobs. I always get stuck with the shitty jobs, right? Always the one in the trench, always the one with the shovel, always the one with the rake. <laughs> he gets out of all the hard stuff. Bo thinks it needs to be cut down about a half inch, so. I'm gonna go around and just mark a little half inch. Try to make it as straight as possible. <laughs> this is not a good smell, guys. Woo, woo. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. I think it's broken. 
Okay, we'll try this again and not push so hard. It's gonna be a marathon, not a sprint here. It's definitely working, but these things are breaking so fast. I think I only have two left. I've got, I've broken three already. I'm not even halfway through. So I'm gonna wait until Bo gets back before I keep going because maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not putting them on here correctly, but I feel like they shouldn't break that quickly. So who knows? Well, now that you have to pay for bags, they're a lot higher quality. That is very true. Uh, they all switch to this, like, durable plastic or paper. I love that of store. Those this? What is that? It converts garden hose. Oh, for the toilet. Okay, that's sweet. I, I cannot believe they have this. We're getting an extra toilet hooked up today, folks. It's a shitter. <laughs> Um, so as you saw, I was trying to get this on and the things kept breaking. So I gave up, but, um, Bo was just at the store and he actually found a flange that goes over the PVC. So that one went over it too. Well, that's true. No. It did go over it, but this one worked better. <laughs> I mean, this, I definitely want to use this for the rest the of the house. The house, yeah. And it, we should have cut this off, but... It'll flush a turd, I think. <laughs> so we're going to get this toilet functioning right now. It'll be our first official toilet in the house. I'm pooping first. Toilet. Okay, you can poop first. That little hardware grocery store hair care and tire center is just amazing. Hair care and tire center. Did you go to all seasons? Yeah. Oh. the toilet? Oh no wait, you're hooking a hose up to it, that's right. You don't listen to shit, mama. I'll listen. You don't. You don't listen to a god dang thing I say. Dude, how's that smell? What smell? <laughs> that was like my wife's breath. Rude. See if you ever get kissed again. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Alright. Might get punched. <laughs> I think, I said I think. I thought you were going to open that freaking toilet up. I am. Oh, sure. You're not in there running. Quit saying the F word. Lucky for you, I've got editing skills. Edit that right out here. Wax ring. Yeah, need it. How good are your reflexes? They wouldn't have been very good. <laughs> Thank you for purchasing. You're welcome. Definitely upside down. This is fragile. What are you looking for? Directions. They're right on your scaffolding. I mean, you don't need much direction for a shitter, but. Put rack, wax ring in ground set toilet. Did you put it on the wax ring? the wax ring on that. Where's the hardware? It's in the box with the wax ring. The wax ring and floor hardware. Mm -hmm. It says it right there. I on know, the interesting when they, when they ask questions. words right there that tell you what it is. We've got a big weekend coming up, so we're getting this boiler room enclosed with a working toilet so we don't just have the camper toilet ready. Um, some of our friends are flying in to help us start drywalling. And they poop big. <laughs> Three more full-grown males, so no wow. extra toilets necessary. Two, oh, I guess two full-grown. <laughs> two and a half. I love you, Uncle Court. Where do you want? Line up your old.
That's all you do? You put the ring on there and then smash it on? Yeah. That's how you install a toilet? Yeah. All right. Flange in the hole. Wax ring on the bottom of the toilet. Push toilet into Ooh. place. It's fair and simple. So, there's all of that, but... Hello, toilet! There should be another thing of uh, hardware. Like what? There was some stuff with the lid. Oh, but that might be the lid hardware. What's that piece? It's the tank. Oh, I know. The black thing, though. It's a seal. Oh. Remember our fancy toilet lid we used to have? She's coming back. <laughs> Oh. Install on a shader. Install on a shader. So I went down to the local hardware store, <laughs> which is also the grocery store. And liquor store. And they had a part that converts garden hose to pipe thread in like seven different sizes. I don't think you could find that in the middle of Spokane. <laughs> well, you can't be shy using this potty. <laughs> Poop with an audience. <laughs> Only in one wall. Three walls are covered. There will be a wall soon. <laughs> and I'm going to put a door on it here in about 10 minutes. Yeah. We'll drywall this wall first and then that way it's just... No, we're going to leave that one open. <laughs> it's interesting that it's just a little plastic nut. I don't think I watched you install the toilet in our Wyoming house. That's because you were pretty much worthless. Oh, rude. I tiled the whole bathroom. That's true, you did. And painted it. They're fancy stripes. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Remember, I did the big stripes on that one wall. Looked awful, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I did not. But we were newly married and I couldn't say anything. <laughs> You want to take off complies with? No. Ask me. <laughs> ASME. <laughs> What's ASME? American Standard oh. Measurement or something. Do you want to be taken off there? Really? We got to know that this toilet meets ASME standards. Ask me. <laughs> Just go ahead. Ask me. <laughs> Jimmy rig the water. Further <laughs> make this hokey. Red Nick, Nick. Y'all don't just power your toilet with a hose? garden hose? What do you mean? Can't you just pump water into it every time you use it? Hey, At least you're hooking it up. You just dump it on <laughs> in there. Can't get it off. These on the bottom. Yeah, we gotta cut those off. Oh yeah, those are way too cool. Yeah, this is the thing I was talking about. Garden hose to national pipe thread. I think we bought more than one there actually. Of every size and color and shape. And this came with color options. You've got oil rub brown, oh, gold, shit. or I nickel. Did need. What? Well, I was thinking that this was. What's that noise? She's rocking in her rocking chair. Do you want gold, nickel, or oil rub bronze? Wow, what is that? I don't know. It came with oh, it. it's. This is how it makes the different sizes. I was wondering. I read that and I was like, how the hell does it attach? Does it that fits all, all toilet? Oh yeah. Three eighths, three. It's funny that they're all dark colors. Yeah, baby. You want to put on a dress? Go ahead, girl. We didn't pull that paper towel out of there. Did I? I don't see it. I don't think we did. We better get that out. Santa, that was your job. You had one job. I forgot to pull a piece of paper towel that was preventing the sewer gases from coming up. Left in the pipe. Don't want to try to flush that. 
This is the furthest point from the septic tank. Not that it shouldn't flow, but paper towels are never good in, in uh, pipes. My God. I guess we'll get this done next year. How come you didn't take this ASME sticker off here? <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. really waxy. Yeah. Good call on the paper towel though. Yeah. That could have been a bigger issue. <laughs> I'll run a snake. We just <laughs> pass our plumbing inspection and then what you, have you been doing? messed it up cleaning my hands off. You forget. You're like a goose. You wake up every morning, brand new day. Um, yeah. You think geese are like that? They are. How do you know? Are you Hi, goose? I'm Tom. Are you a goose expert? Yeah. Sometimes I gaze at the goose. You take a gander at the geese? <sighs> the geese in the gander. <laughs> Are you done f***ing around now? Oh, 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 oh. I try really hard to beep all of his f's out, but... You should comment below if you like it when I say f or don't like it when I say f***. <laughs> it's working. Fill in with water. <laughs> the eyeball. I want to make sure you saw her. My, my beautiful wife. <laughs> Your wife's eyeball. Will it stop on its own when it's at the right level? It does, it's a broken toilet. Okay. Ta-da! Flush it. The inaugural flush. Not leaking. High five. Low five. Backward five. Come on. <laughs> um, da -da -da! All right. We went to hang this door in the laundry room or the laundry room, the Boy. boiler room, and the door frame's too short. So, upon further inspection, this door is a Three o, I think it's a three o, thirty two inch by thirty inch by eighty inch. Wow, struggle bus. So the rough opening that a thirty inch wide door is calling for is thirty two inches. Um, the rough opening for the height of an eighty inch door is eighty two and a half, which is common to have the the RO be two and a half inches taller and i don't i didn't think through that looking at our drawings all the ro's are only one inch taller than the actual door is that the door is calling the ro is only one inch taller than what the door calls for so we're gonna have to go back and look at those we are having our doors custom made but upstairs upstairs we're going to need some floor clearance because we're going to do laminate but downstairs will be finished floor of concrete so you don't want much of a gap anyways we just basically discovered that i think all of our doors are the wrong size framed in so fun building a house when you don't know what you're doing all right, so we trimmed down this door. It's not going to give us much clearance. I'm tempted to cut this off right now because I'm fairly certain that's going to drag. I'll cut this one down. You can see the line here. And then we'll get her installed. I'll get the door frame installed, and if the door drags, we'll uh, take the door off the frame and cut it. But since we are going to keep this as finished or concrete's a finished floor i do want a tight gap on most of the bedrooms just to uh believe it or not most sound transmission out of a bedroom or out of a main living space into a bedroom is under the door not necessarily through walls we our last home insulated the wall between uh the living room and our bedroom and it did it did a little it didn't do a whole lot to be honest with you um, but then we 
messed around with a little door gap thing and it made a big difference so i'll get this cut and uh we'll get this thing installed